Welcome to Dashboard Confessions. We're going to talk about our first day as a blackjack dealer. Hit em. My name is Ace. And I'm Amanda. Together we are Two Dub Nation. If you're interested in about becoming a blackjack dealer, follow our journey. We're going to have more videos about our experience here in Vegas as a dealer. Becoming dealers in Vegas, baby. We finally got our first job. That was one of our 2020 vision was to become a casino dealer. We work at the downtown Fremont Experience. She works at the sister property. So they're both owned by the same people, but we're not working in the same location. What, you're about what, two blocks away from me? Yeah, about two blocks. We only what? They're like a month in school and we like went to the audition and they're like, you guys need a lot more work, but yeah, we'll train oh, you. Oh, they told you that. Oh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, um, you guys need some work, but I think we could help. And they're like, you know what? We want to offer you a job. Be like, yeah. Let's talk about our interview process. Okay. It took us about two weeks before we went fill out the application to actually dealing to a, a our first customer yes and we had to do something that neither one of us had ever done our first interview was a panel interview that was a different experience yeah kind of like americans got talent or american idol you actually go in with a large group of people we had about 15 20 people yep. in our paint in our group and you go in and you are supposed to introduce the person beside you you're also supposed to answer one random question off the top of your head and then there's three people that are judging, judging you and you and i made the cut we so. made the first cut so that was the first cut, and then they're like, oh, we'll call you in about a week to set up some sort of audition. As a dealer, you have to basically show that you have the capacity to deal a proper game. And the audition, it can be done any different ways. My audition was on an empty table, and I was dealing to the, I guess you would call him the pit boss. Mm -hmm on that shift that I was auditioning for. You... I was auditioning. He didn't really have time. He was the general casino manager, so he oversees every every casino aspect of the property, and he just basically threw me at a live game. I was done with my audition. He's like, you're a little shaky, but I think it's because of nerves. <laughs> I was so nervous. Oh my gosh, I was so nervous. I don't know what I had to be so nervous about, but I was. We both got our jobs, and we both are working graveyard shifts. Yep, that's from 3 to 11. A.M. A.M. Yay. But I feel that this is going to be beneficial for us. It's not going to be as busy and we'll be able to learn more yes. as break-in dealers. Anytime you're a new dealer and you've never dealt before, they call you a break-in dealer. Yeah. Generally, the two casinos that we got into, they don't take a lot of break-in dealers. They take in some, but not a lot, and we were both fortunate to get into these places when we did. There's pretty much three different types of casinos. You have very local casinos that are way off strip. It's where locals go and you don't get much tourists. And honestly, your pay is usually lower. For the break-in places, generally local casinos, you don't make as much money. <coughs> then you have the middle level that are like downtown where we're working and you get a good mix of locals and tourists and their pay is a little bit higher and then of course you have the strip oh, the strip which is all tourist but no one on the strip is breaking yeah so you need some sort of experience the strip casinos do not take break-ins they want at least two years experience 
on any game. Yeah, and we were only what a month, a month out and of we school. We didn't have game, any life one experience. Game. And I'm not even that great, and I got dexterity issue, and they managed to be like, "Hey, you got a good personality. We're willing to give you a shot, but we're kind of technique." Our properties are sister properties. They're under the same umbrella, but they operate separately. And both of them have a little bit different things. We're sister properties, so my casino is a tad bigger than hers. Ours is more like a party vibe, and hers is more like a rat pack. 40s, yeah, biff, yeah. 50s, uh, old Vegas yeah. style. I start my dealing job. For the first day and a half, they had someone shadowing me. So I was dealing at tables, but I had someone standing beside me to make sure I wasn't making mistakes or anything. And I was very nervous, so of course there were mistakes made and stuff, but it was nothing gigantic or out of the ordinary. This person that was shadowing me helped me navigate the rest of the casino. They helped me uh, to go on break, tell me when I'm supposed to go on break and where everything's at and that was really helpful well mine's kind of similar if you guys want to know how much we get paid guess what stay tuned we'll make a video on that soon too once we get our first paycheck <laughs> once we get our first paycheck and, and we'll tell you how things work as a casino dealer we are like in the middle tier casino. Oh, I am, but I don't know about her property. So we'll, <laughs> we'll explain all that later on our first check, hopefully. Our first paychecks yes. as casino dealers. Yeah, we don't mind. <clears throat> we don't mind explaining our first check. You know, it helps. I know people are curious about how much we and our ace and Amanda make so why not who cares I'm gonna put it out there it's just money if you want my money come and work with me <laughs> right right all right so we'll give you some more detail on how much we get paid on the next episode of dashboard, dashboard confessions. confessions i hope this was entertaining and you got something out of it so we're going to bring you more awesome dealing adventure. We just want to show you our experiences and show you what options you have available. You don't always have to work the traditional nine to five. Uh, there's always an option. There's always options. Okay. So, <laughs> so thank you. And this is Ace. And Amanda. Reminding you. To keep soaring to the end. Out. out.